Welcome back, everybody, to some more Octopath Traveler. I'm your host, the Musical Gamer. We are still here in the rooms of Eld, and uh, I've done a little bit of composition change to the party before we move on past this uh, this open gate. I've made Ophelia into a scholar, and I've given her pretty much every ability I possibly can, except the divine one. So she is perfectly equipped to deal with whatever comes uh, our way here. I figured actually having a double scholar is a better idea than having a double dancer, which is kind of what we were doing, because we had both Prim and Ophelia in the party. This is going to work out pretty well for her, and she's going to kick some serious, serious elemental ass. Uh, I mean, her elemental attack is 560 now, just slightly shy of Cyrus's 631. So she's going to be doing some serious damage with her moves. Plus, she has light magic, which is also going to kind of... Uh, go hand in hand with what she's got plus she's got all these skills now of the scholar class so i've managed to get her well, all the skills and have equipped her so far with just elemental augmentation but she does have access to evasive maneuvers precipients vim and vigor so she's got she's got all the goods <laughs> this should work out pretty well for her at least for this boss fight coming ahead which i'm i'm assuming is a boss fight I'm not entirely sure. I actually came into this area briefly just to sort of see what it looked like. And there's a couple chests in the front. I already picked them up. Nothing too exciting in them, unfortunately. But what do we have here? And here we have a library of sorts. Look at all these tomes. Did Headmaster Yvonne procure them all? Yeah, What? what is with the... A, a kept library here in the middle of our ruins. It volume 7 of Trial of the Twelve? But only the first five volumes are extant. Oh no. Did we just tickle your scholar bone, Cyrus? Forbidden gold? Covenant of the Sage? These books were all said to have been lost ages ago. And what's this? A personal dictionary for the translation of ancient tongues. Did the headmaster collect all this by himself? Uh, no. It would be impossible for even the most esteemed of scholars. No. Such a vast repository of knowledge must have been accumulated over decades, even centuries. Hmm. From this trove to these odd wall paintings, this place is one enigma after the next. One thing is clear, if there is a mastermind behind all this, I can expect to find him here. Hmm, the mystery deepens, you say. And there, ain't eh? well, what else do we got here? Are these tomes really worth so much? I can assure you that if they become known, they will turn the world of scholarship on its head. It is not surprising to learn that knowledge can be lost with the passing of time. Wars, disasters, and fires have all served to make men forget things they once knew. Yet books thought to be gone forever have returned as if from the dead, which implies they were stolen, deliberately kept from the world. Indeed, a most deplorable crime. And the culprit is this man, Yvonne. He would make all knowledge his and his alone. That is why he hid it away here. Unlike men, books cannot talk. What tales these forsaken tomes would tell. Forsaken, that is exactly the word. To monopolize knowledge in this way is a desecration of scholarship itself. Spoken like a man truly devoted to his trade. It is only proper that an honorable scholar such as you cast his eyes over these pages once more. I intend to do just that. Well, at least you get Ulbrich's support. <laughs> That's for sure. Ulbrich is, uh, is ready to help out. Uh, okay, hold on. This is not a boss fight. So, just uh, be sure I don't get, like, murdered here. Let's get some evasive maneuvers going and, uh, some percipients... This way, hopefully we stave off encounters, and if we do hit encounters, we can, uh... Actually, wait, hold on. I took off Evil Ward, too, didn't I? Yes, yes, I did. Uh, we do not need... 
What is it? Second wind? Second wind we can... Well, actually. Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, you know, let's just get rid of second wind for the time being. Evil Ward! I just want to be able to run from fights. I just want to go fight the boss, honestly. I think we're strong enough. I don't think we need to worry. Everybody's level 44. Prim's level 43. We should be good. I just actually have to get there. Is the only thing. So what do we get here? A knight's shield. Now, hold the phone. Who could equip this? Uh, interesting. Okay, so better on the physical defense. Not so good on the elemental defense. And quite a few lost evasion points. Uh, Ulbrich. Wow, actually the force shield is, better, is still better than this thing. That's actually crazy. Holy crap, that force shield we got like a while ago. Th that's a shield we can buy in Dusk Barrow. We got that a while ago, and that thing has been really making uh, making it last a long time. It's super worth it to pick that up. All right, well, let's just uh, quickly save. So, just in case something goes horribly wrong. Because uh, it looks like the fight we're looking for is just right up ahead. So let's just equip everybody back with their appropriate things. Elemental augmentation for you, my good sir. Uh, and you, my dear, can pick up both the elemental augmentation you had, as well as... Boom. Second wind. Done. Alright. With this... We should be good to go. Professor, you truly are every bit as brilliant as old Yvonne said. I did not come here for false flattery. Oh, but I was being quite sincere. A shame the purport eludes your grasp. To think you were the one pulling the strings. The assistant has become the master. Is, is that how that saying works? The headmaster was merely your puppet all along. Very astute. Yes, it was I who maneuvered to install him in that position in the first place. To my dismay, he had a willful streak that got in the way. One might say the fault lies in the person who chose him for the task. <laughs> you would think, right? One might say that, yes. Now, let us proceed to the matter at hand. Your search for the original copy of From the Far Reaches of Hell has miraculously led you to me. In finding me, you have displayed some measure of knowledge and acumen. Thanks, I think? More than anything, you have shown a pure and unrelenting passion for seeking out the truth. I hold that particular quality in the highest regard. Thanks! I... I think... I get a bad feeling from this. What was your goal? What say you, Cyrus? Will you join me in my research? I, it, it, no! Why the hell would I? Ridiculous. Yeah, good. If that is a jape, it is a poor one. A jape? What a curious reaction from a scholar like yourself. The wall paintings in this place, did they not pique your interest? Well, I, I can't deny that they did. Did your heart not race when you saw the countless lost tomes in my study? Okay, and your point? To say I was not intrigued would be a lie. Of course you were. Yes, any true scholar would feel the same. I must unravel these mysteries. I must have the answers. Your mind, no, your very soul burns with an all-consuming desire to know. That is what separates you from the rest, Cyrus. Jesus Christ, you sound like you want to have my babies or something. We are true seekers of knowledge, you and I. Together, we can unlock all the secrets behind our world. Okay, I can tell you this right now, Lucia. This, this is not going to end with you and me hand in hand, skipping down the beach, going into the sunset. This, this is not what's going to happen. You're going to die, and I'm going to enjoy it. 
I'll pass. How can you refuse? Easy. I say no. You covet the mysteries of the universe. You yearn to know the truth. And? Your point? Surely you can stand shoulder to shoulder with me. <laughs> That's it exactly. What? What is it? Surely you. I take issue with your solicitation. The... wait, what? You don't care who you use in your schemes. What of Headmaster Yvonne? Oh, okay, that, that's where he's going with this. I... I thought he was going somewhere... somewhere completely else with this. He's like, you're not my type. And he'd be like, wait, what? <laughs> Be ridiculous. He was devoid of the passion you have. Well, with how you left him, he was definitely devoid of any humanity he might have had. He was nothing but a pawn to the end, incapable of envisioning an ultimate goal. On what grounds do you base that assumption? Can a man not grow his mind? If you found him wanting, why did you not teach him? Teach him? My other question is, why weren't you the headmaster? Or mistress? Why was he the headmaster if you were so much better than him? You would Take think... Him on as your pupil. Impart your vast knowledge, that he might one day be your peer. <laughs> Preposterous. You speak the impossible. Mediocrity is as mediocrity does. Knowledgeable as he was, his own actions prevented him from ever approaching genius. A genius such as yourself must understand this. Well, flattery will get you everywhere with me, but not in this case. There's where you and I differ. I haven't given up on mediocrity. As scholars, we learn from the past to better understand the present and pass our knowledge on to the future. What do you mean to do with the knowledge you amass? The secrets you unravel? Carry them to your grave, content they are inscrutable to all who do not possess your genius. You would call them simpletons, fools, feeble minds. I say it is you who lacks the ability to teach and inspire. Yeah! Oh, go Cyrus! Oh, I love Cyrus when he's like this. A scholar does not look down on others for what they do or do not know. Those who know impart knowledge to those who do not. If something is wrong, those who know the answer correct it. The process repeats, bringing us closer and closer to enlightenment. And this, my friends, is what education should be about. I teach my students with the expectation that one day they will surpass me. I long for the day when I will have the chance to learn from them. Enough! That's just rude. I've I don't have to say it like that. I've given opportunities to make a move. Any move, but clearly we are going nowhere fast. Look, we, we've already been over this. Cyrus is an idiot when it comes to women. Uh, oh, wait, no, not that move. If you would rather die without discovering the truth, so be it. I have already synthesized a perfect blood crystal, precisely as detailed in the original tome. With it, I will cast off the shackles of humanity. A human can only learn so much in its short lifetime. I will gain the time, the power, to understand everything. You may be a fool, but to show no hard feelings, you can participate in an empirical analysis of my newfound power. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, I don't like the look of that. If believing in the future makes one a fool, then call me a proud fool. Call me a scared fool! D damn girl, you scary! But know this. When I emerge victorious, I will unravel the secrets of that tome and arrive at my own answer. Let this be a lesson to you. 
the future of mankind is bright. Oh, here it comes, the boss fight. I cannot fail. Oh dear. Uh, you only have one shield. Physical perfection. You have one shield, and... Uh, oh. 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 Oh no. Oh, oh dear. 30 shields?! Game, you have got to be motherfucking joking! Right! Okay then. Ah, uh, it's a good thing we have Ophelia with us, because we're gonna need to group heal like crazy. Alright then. Uh, well, at least we get the epic music. <laughs> let's analyze real quick. I. Maybe not. Actually, yes, let's just analyze. How much HP? 84,000 HP. Cool. You're weak to bows as well. Uh, interesting. So it looks like all the vulnerabilities here are. They look jumbled. I think bows are supposed to come before daggers normally, right? Or not? Well, wait. Hold the phone. Isn't, um... Sword supposed to come before dagger, but isn't sword, like, the first thing on the list? What the hell? Or is it... Oh, God. Is it sword, spear, dagger? I... This is what happens when you don't memorize these things, guys. Don't... Don't be like me. Just... Just memorize the order of... Of... Of icons. This is... Oh, this is just... This is just pathetic. All right. Summon the gatekeeper give us some improved offenses, as well as another dude to just kind of no, smack into the guy. Or her. Guy? Her? Lucia. Her name is still Lucia, so I will appropriately misgender her as I keep going. Uh, I, I, mm. Arrow, arrow Storm. Yeah, do it. Arrow Storm. Just, just hit him as many times as you can. It's literally all we can do. Uh, Ophelia, though, you're gonna have to heal more here. Bring about a miracle of healing! At the very least, with your super high uh, magic stat now, you're going to be able to heal for a lot of damage really quickly. Which is uh, one good thing from this. Let's just quickly stab you. Yep, spears do come before daggers. Gotcha. Victory shall be mine. Uh, Ulbrich. Yep, weak to swords as well. Ow. Just ow. So, what you're telling me is, is that I'm going to be on constant healing duty. Bring about a miracle of healing. Just purely constant healing duty. Gotcha, game. Gotcha. Uh, it doesn't look like you're actually probably weak to much. Here. That fourth missing one is either going to be axes or staves, I think. But it comes before bow. What comes before bow? Is it Axis? Is, is, is Cyrus actually going to be able to do something here? Yes, it is Axis. Okay, good. Ow. Oh, no. Oh, no. There goes Cyrus. Oh, this is bad, actually. Hmm. Heal more real quick. I'm ready. Sure, heal more real quick. Bring back Cyrus with a large, no, medium olive of life. Stay strong. Perfect. That's exactly what he needed. And repeated strikes, and you're gone. Lovely. All right, there goes the gatekeeper. The battle is truly joined. <laughs> we only gotten rid of ten shields. What the hell? Oh, this is this is not this is not cool game. This is really, really, really not cool. My blade is unbending. Now here's here's a quick question. If I, I just defend not. normally. Oh. Ow! Well, you knocked me unconscious. What is the really annoying. Looks like Ulbrich will get his move next turn though. No point in healing him of this. He'll be back to normal next turn. Huh. <sighs> well, at least Cyrus gets to make a move here. How good of a move it is, is, uh, to be determined. Just hit him. I... This is... This is not gonna be fun. And magic isn't gonna help me here. This is actually, like, the opposite of the fight I was expecting. 
Now, you do get to move. Interesting. Give me, give me a supercharged sidestep here. Four sidesteps. Ow. Just to be on the safe side. That is just rude. I will tell you that right now. That is just absolutely rude. If I want Cyrus to move, I have to heal him now. And honestly, I would prefer him to move than attack with Ulbrich, even though he's at max BP. Oh, this fight's gonna be annoying. This fight's gonna be annoying. This fight's gonna go on for a while. I can already see it now. Uh, not terror. We want unconscious. There we go. Use this. Welcome back, Cyrus. <sighs> Admittedly, actually, hold on. Are you feeling quite all right? Little HP, little SP, six turns of poison. This might be a good way to do some damage to this guy. Stay strong. Will healing grape you? Uh. Ow! You did you What? My you team. took my BP! Oh you! You ass! What the hell? There goes all my BP. Now I'm kind of wishing I actually kept Ophelia as a, um, as a dancer. So she could be like spending maybe some turns uh, buffing or something. If she doesn't have to heal, buffing would be like a great thing. And now I'm kind of screwed. I was expecting a fight with like magic involved with this. It's Cyrus. Cyrus is freaking chapter four boss. You would think, right? You would freaking think. No, of course not. Do I take this moment to make Ulbrich go first? Is this when I should break him, I wonder? I think not. We're all kind of at full HP. So honestly, I wouldn't have to worry about healing during this stuff. So actually, you know what? Breaking him now, I think is going to be a great idea. And then I can use Ulbrich to... Uh, what's it? Y use his BP stuff next turn Cyrus is already ready to, is already ready to go Ophelia is ready to unleash some sort of big attack this is actually a good time yeah this is a good time to do it all right um, I suppose what this means I should do is like rain of arrows I just hope I hit him twice I should be able to yep good just what I was hoping for. I am ready. Do, 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 do. Oh, I love this music so much. <sighs> um, okay. What is it? What is it collecting? So we can collect. <laughs> not not quite yet though. Now let's just quickly give like Ulbrich an extra BP point here. Yeah, so we have some stuff to uh some stuff to I do. You here. Just a little extra. Nothing too crazy. Right, Cyrus is out cold. Well then. Um. Prim can revive him from the stuff next turn. That's what we should do. So actually, scholar skill here. Let's go with a uh, firestorm. Sure, firestorm Friends, sounds good. Burn this away. Oh, oh yes, sixty-six hundred damage. More full enfeeblement. More enfeeblement. Thank you, Cell Sword. I appreciate that. I'll be able to resummon you too. I am ready. Uh, oh, Cyrus came back. That's actually great. Because what this means is Prim can actually take this turn to summon the Gatekeeper, who will hopefully buff us. Yes, good. So Ophelia didn't get the buff, but that's okay. Cyrus and Ulbrich are about to unleash hell on us, dude. So how about we do Brand's Thunder? Oh, baby. I wreak havoc upon thee! Yes! Oh, that's such good oh, damage! Oh! I really, really wish I gave Ulbrich his uh, extra warrior ability. I should have done that. Like, more damage. Like, that would have been that would have been amazing. Absolutely amazing. Eh. 
Elemental defense, we don't really need, actually. Luminescence, heal more. No, like, none of this stuff is, like, super important. So, just summon the uh, Luckless Cell Sword again. You got the turn to do it, might as well. Wow, that's a bunch of damage, too. Holy crap, that was worth it. Uh, Scholar's Skill. We don't have a thing there. Single foe would increase intensity. Now, that would be super useful if I had that up for this turn. I do not. I do not. Maybe the next round. Let's just go Lightning Blast, I guess. Whoa, okay then. That was 12,000 damage. I mean, like, just about. And Holbrook gets to move again. Okay, well, uh, might as well use what he's got left, huh? Just, just normal attack. 2,000 damage, little SP. A hideous form, huh? Half the shields. That is good to see. How about you? That shouldn't be as hard, I would imagine. And I bet you're weak to elements now, huh? Hmm. Well, we'll find out. It's not swords you're weak to. Any amount of money. What about light? Oh, light? Yes, you're weak to light. And that did a lot of damage. Wow, did that do a lot of damage. I am ready. You're probably not weak to dark. But you're weak to wind. I actually don't know. Hmm. I do not know. Um not get the get the four turn sidestep up here, Prim. What next? Cyrus, you get to have some fun with a firestorm. Oh, you're just completely weak to elements. Fascinating. Okay, so you're totally weak to the elements. And... Hmm. Can we survive a hit, I wonder, if it's a party-wide hit? I think we can. Actually, Ophelia might not. No, you know what? I'm not going to risk it. I'll just have Prim use the healing here. Well, there goes the Gatekeeper. I think we still have one more use of that guy. A tempest of ice shall rage. All right, he's weak to ice, too. How about you? Let me guess. <laughs> and thunder. Hehehe. <laughs> At least Obra can do something here. I'll do my best. All right, we're actually fine to keep going. Uh, no, you can actually use your scholar skills. I just realized. Thunder, bring out! Full enfeeblement. Oh, that's so good. Whoa! You just drained me of my SP. That is rude. What next? I do not appreciate that. What the hell, dude? Hmm. What do I do here? Who do I... <laughs> I guess maybe I should just have Ulrich uh, fix himself up. I don't know. I think I got some jams in here that might do the job. Now the true lesson I want to re-poison you. Quite all right. This poisoning you has just been super helpful. Yeah, don't we have, like, some, um... Yeah, HP and SP to single ally. Refreshing jam. Give yourself a jam here, Ulbrich. How about this? Wow! Okay, that was I'm super ready. potent. I didn't think it would be that strong. You're right then. Bet you're weak to wind. Yep, you're weak to wind. <laughs> yeah, friggin' rainbow of elements down there, dude. Ah! Ow. Alright, Ophelia, you gotta heal. <laughs> You have to heal. The level 2 heal wounds should be fine. Boom, thanks for the speed boost. And they returned whence they came, so now we don't have a summonable, summonable person with Ophelia. <sighs> this is okay, though. Lightning strikes! We might be able to break him this turn. Actually, we will totally be able to break them this turn. We 
can just Cyrus move next turn. I have a plan. I have a dastardly plan. Here. And I think it's going to work. We won't break him this turn. Oh, wait, hold on. No, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I need to think about this. So if we don't use... Because what I'm thinking of doing is using Elephants and Lightning right now. On Cyrus himself. That will last for three turns. The, the timing of that actually isn't the problem. It's having enough BP to attack next turn. Which I think will be doable. But can we actually break him before Cyrus' next go? So Ophelia will be able to get two hits in. He'll be down to three. Prim will be able to get one hit in. And no, we will not. So we're going to have to wait an extra turn here. Interesting. You know what I'll do? Is I'll have Cyrus move first the next turn. My turn. Actually, maybe I'll have everybody... No, no, I can't do that. Can I? You know, just keep... keep um. I, I gotta take out two of the shields here. And I think this plan will work now. He's gotta survive. Ooh, you silenced Prim. Hmm. I don't think that's going to get in my way. I don't think. So, Alephant's Enlightenment right now. Actually, knew that is going to get in my way. Crap. Hold on. Ah, oh, damn it. Did I just lose my chance to do this? Uh, by next turn. I might have. I actually might have. Well, you know what? I'm gonna give myself the Elephant's Enlightenment. I'm gonna do this anyway. I think this will work. Oh yeah, I don't have any skills here. Shit. For two more turns. Uh, Prim will die if I don't heal her. Yeah, Prim will uh, just die if I don't heal her. So I I have to I have to heal her. How about this? 1750, good. At least she'll survive a hit here. Victory and then Ophelia will get her move in. Ow. Not be defeated. Let your wounds be healed. Oh great, you've silenced Ophelia now. The battle is truly Then you get another move. Uh In order for this to work, I need to cure I need to cure both of these people of silence, honestly. Yeah, cure Prim first. The battle is truly joined. Cure Prim first. I should be able to do this next turn, I think, without a problem. Because I'll be able to break him now. Well, what next? Because what I can do is Cyrus can use his rehabilitate on Ophelia. A cure for what ails you. Prim can break him. I think this is going to work out quite well, actually. So he's... She's broken now. Which is great. Ophelia. Get ready to just unleash fire and fury. Go. Holy light. About 5,500 more damage. Which will make stealing from this person next turn a lot easier. Crap, but Cyrus has to... Ah, uh, nuts. Ah, uh, nuts. Well, it might not be a full blast move. I think I'm just going to have to deal with that. I should not have used Ophelia's attack. I didn't think that far ahead. Because um, I do want to steal from him, uh, from Lucia here. Just collecting my That's 30,000 leaf. And I am not going to say no to 30,000 leaf. No way and no way and no how. Alright, well, we might as well do this. Um, 
Go for the uh, the blizzard. A tempest of ice shall rain. That did not do nearly as much as I hoped. It was only 8,000 damage. How about you? I was missing a BP, a BP point. God damn it. <sighs> oh well. It's still a lot of damage. I suppose it's fine. Over doing it to freaking annihilate this thing too. Brand Thunder go. I wreak havoc upon thee. Well then. I'm actually surprised you're still standing. Hmm. You get to move twice. Let your wounds be healed. I don't trust that Ophelia can kill you. Losing control of your body. Oh, look at this. Interesting, she's getting weaker each time. Weaker and more desperate. Oh, did you? Did Prim just like counter her to death? Are you kidding me? Seriously? That is not how I expected this battle to end. All right, well. <laughs> uh, I guess I can't no. complain. There is so much more I must learn. Mm-hmm. If nothing else, your devotion to the pursuit of knowledge is admirable. Unfortunately for you, you will not live to pass that on. Oh, there she goes. The deed is done. Oh. From the far reaches of hell, at last I have the original. How many lives have been lost to the dark knowledge in these pages? But no. Knowledge itself cannot be good or evil. Only the hearts of those who would use it. I will use all the resources at my disposal to decipher this work for myself. And I will find the answer I seek. An answer of my very own. Well, go for it, Cyrus. Just, uh, be careful. Perhaps one of the tomes in the study I passed through might aid me in deciphering these glyphs. Yes, I should return. Oh, are we not actually done? Scrutinize the archives in the ruins of Eld. Interesting. Well, we're not done yet. I thought this would be the end of his chapter four. But uh, next time on Let's Play Octopath Traveler, we will finish Cyrus's chapter four in full and uh, enjoy the scrutinizing of these books. This is Musical Gamer signing off. Thanks all for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Catch you guys then.